the Bruins defeating Oregon State in Los Angeles earlier this year. We are underway. The Bruins in their familiar colors of blue and yellow. Osborne right away inside the bets, squaring up against her old childhood friend, Beers. Dugalich steps, back ribbon off on the three, into the hands of Hunter. Here comes Oregon State. Well, I love that matchup down low. Beers and Betts all night long going one-on-one, -on -one, but Oregon State doing a good job of one-and-done getting that defensive board. That will be a key tonight. Von Olhoffen hesitates. Watch out for the three seconds. Turnover. Here comes UCLA bunch. Osborne pulls up and hits. Well, live ball turnover, that's got to be a key also for Oregon State, just cannot afford him. And Osborne, terrific in transition, loves that mid-range pull-up. Pierce. Play whistle dead, well before the shot. UCLA wanted to trap him instead inside the beer. She's blocked. Nope, there's going to be a foul. Beers reigning Pac-12 player of the week. Second time she's been honored with that this season. 14 double-doubles. She has just been an incredible presence for Oregon State. 18 points a pop leads this club in rebounds. She is so active. She gets to the line. She takes smart shots. She's just been all that. Yeah, I mean, she does a little bit of everything. And, and defensively, I mean, you forget about that part of the game. I mean, she is so good at holding her ground. Doing a great job against Betts so far down low this evening. Deep three. Jones, deep is right, has now hit a triple in 14 straight. Wow. Beers tries to outmaneuver Iwala. Good position by Christine. Yeah, it was smart for her to stop on that take right there. Don't want to draw a foul. There's the offensive rebound UCLA is looking for. Compliments of Hawkins. Here's Osborne. Hawk has so good at just playing so hard. Great anticipation. Eight on the shot clock. Iwala squares up against Beers. Little hook is there. Her leadership, I mean, the maturity for the freshman. That's a lot of pressure. Perova comes in and scores. Well, again, you see the beater. Rice, aggressive. Oh, man, what a stick by Rice. What a find by Hawkes to find her streaking to the, the hoop. And just a great finish with the left hand. Man, acrobatic. So athletic. Gardner, jab step, goes right at Betts. Betts does a great job of altering that shot. Remember, she stands at 6'7". Oh, are they a different club with Lauren back in uniform and on the court? Betts, you bet. Everything changes with her on the floor, on both ends of the court. Yep. Everything. Three-point specialist. She has come alive. The last four has Hanford, Hansford. She has been a catalyst to this Oregon State offense. Well, you see Hanford just spotting up, coming up from the corner. The lefty drills it. 11-7 UCLA with the lead. Well, she shoots almost 50%. Watching her and shoot around doesn't miss too often. Here's Reese. Looking for some help. 10 on the shot clock for Parova. There's the switch. Parova, quick footwork. Oh, how about that? right there. She saw the mismatch, brought her to the perimeter. Two-point differential. Betts down low against Reese. Ball on the deck. Reese grabs it. The Utah transfer looking for help and finds it. Kick ball. Yep. Well, Oregon State leads this conference in almost 27 points a game from their bench, and that is huge. Here's Hunter. The kick, Parova again. A little too clever. Gets it back. Parova with nine on the shot clock. Inside Reese. Gardner, jab step. 
Got to take it and scores. Well, you see that jab set that Gardner take just creates the space. And she rises up and hits a three and puts the Beavers up by one. Oregon State with its first lead of the game. Hunter picks up that foul. Her first. Team's not even close to being in foul trouble. Just the second team infraction. Well, you see that she almost lost it here. Stay, you know, stays with the play here. Good hustle. Now Reese kicks it out. And Garner just with a great little jab step. Gets herself enough space and drills it. Schuler checking in for Oregon State. 19.1 left to go in this first quarter. He was quiet early, but oh, we're cooking now. Osborne can't get the roll. Betts. She'll go to the line. And then defensively, she adds that presence, that rim protection. She's a good athlete for how tall she is. She gets it in the 63% free throw shooter is the transfer out of Stanford. Ball belongs to Oregon State. They've got time to get a quality shot up. Oregon State in shoot around, you know, they talked about attacking and getting the ball up the sideline. Hunter back in. She'll put the ball on the deck. Hunter, yep. there's the walk. 1.6. Osborne will just... Gardner, a leading candidate for the Sixth Player of the Year award. And why not? I mean, gee whiz, Beers won it last year along with Pac-12 Freshman of the Year, so I guess keep it in-house, huh? Absolutely. Second quarter underway. 8-0 Oregon State run. Final couple of minutes to end the first quarter. Jones slips it inside. Turnover. Betts couldn't handle it. And now Beers. Only two points at this point. You expect that to change. Hunter makes that extra pass. Gardner had a good look in that short corner. Not there. Here's Rice. Takes it right at Beers. Nothing called. Betts with the follow. Can't get it down. Zunta. There's the offensive rebounding that UCLA is known for. Rice inside, and she draws the foul from Hansford. Well, super smart by Rice getting to the cup right there. I mean, so many things going on, offensive boards, but a great take. She goes right into the defense. You see her hang time, ability to keep that ball up high, and we've got some. Uh, she got hit right in the nose, it looks like. Yep. Yep, she got popped right in the snoot, no yep. doubt about it. Mm. I mean, that's a hard take by Rice. Good defense. She walled up, but yeah, she took one right in the nose. Actually, might be her teeth. Okay. The way she's reacting. And this crew's a good one. Somebody yeah. will come over and give Jennifer the lowdown. As Reagan slowly gets to her feet. Oh, boy. And Tiffany Bird is over talking to my buddy. Jennifer Mountain and Jennifer Jamo, what, what did Tiffany tell you? Well, there's actually a lot going on. They have the common foul from the second shot, so they UCLA will shoot those free throws, but they also have an intentional foul with an elbow to the face. Mm. So Oregon State will get two free throws after this. On the replay, you know, it, obviously the the official saw the intent. We didn't, and Beers is very wobbly on her feet heading to the locker room well you take a look at it again right there she did lead with the elbow but i mean like she, she was, was just getting she, an angle yeah she's a lefty you know she was going in with her left hand right there i'm a little surprised by that call but yeah me too so rice whistle for that Intentional foul. First, she'll shoot the free throws. Thanks for breaking that down, J-Mo. So a couple of tosses for Rice. And now they'll shoot the technical foul. Von Olhoff and the veteran. 87% free throw shooter. A good one herself. Early in the second quarter, the great Reagan Beers takes one to the face. We don't know if it's nose, mouth. We, we don't know, but she's in the locker room. We want to go hard to the rack, crash of the boards. Man. Speaking of, Hunter. Bet's coming over from that weak side, but Reese. Pocket picked. Dugalich. Oh, great job by Dugalich coming in from behind on the double team. Betts squares up with the footwork and squeezes it home. Well, that's the difference right there. 
Here's Schuler. Sweeping in and scoring Von Ohoffen. Well, Von Ohoffen smart again. She had Betts pull, pull to the perimeter and uses her speed to get by. Wild shot. Nothing there for Dugalich. No offensive rebound for UCLA. And here comes Von Ohoffen. Another triple from Hanstrom. The three-point sniper. Well, super smart on Von Ohoffen. Again, bets inside and one. Beers is in the locker room with that injury. Such a great shooter from anywhere, but inside almost automatic. Yeah, and can go to both what both both hands. Stepping back, Hunter off. Ooh, Oregon State needed that. Great adjustment by Hunter. She has been taking it to the rim. This time stops and pops in the in the key area and gets a nice little floater. Well, if you're UCLA with Reese with three, you want to go right at her because they did not get her out of the ball game. Osborne banks it in. Osborne now with five. Beers. Or excuse me, Reese, and she'll go to the line. I mean, you've got to love that. She never picked up her dribble. Especially with Betts going to the, the bench with two fouls. Four oh one left to go in the second quarter. The big story of this quarter, Reagan Beers going to the locker room early in the quarter. Dugleach into Osborne. There's your yep. number two all-time scorer in UCLA history, Osborne. All time. All right. Bruins by a singleton inside. Great look from Murat to Gardner. Great little high-low and a great finish. Long ball. Back rim and off. Hawkes and Murat getting tangled, and I think they're going to get A.J. for that foul. Coach Close trying to get the attention yeah. of Tiffany Bird. It's so loud here. Corey <laughs> had to come to half court as Osborne, who also now is number one in games played for UCLA, passing Monique Billings, will tee up the free throw and hit yeah, eight coach, points. Coach Close just trying to find out where the ball was going to be. And like you said, it's so loud in here, could not get the attention of the officials. Gets them both. So nine points now for the great Osborne. Inbounding will be Hawkes. And here's Jones. 3-10 left to go in the second quarter. Iwala can't get it home. Nice job by Gardner yanking down that defensive board. And here comes Oregon State in the half court. Yeah, decent look. Yeah, down low, but just misses it. But a better job of just giving him a one-and-done opportunity with the board. Mismatch down low with Osborne guarding Gardner. And Oregon State can't take advantage, J-Mo. Oh, great screen. Ten on the shot clock now for Von Olhoffen. High pick from Gardner. Pick, pop, three. Gardner. Fabulous off the bench in the absence of her pal, Reagan Beers, who took an elbow to the face early in the second. Whistle blows the play dead, I think, Von Olhoffen. Well, Oregon State, five of their last seven from the field, being efficient. But she's just learning so much about herself and the power of every facet of her game. She did. Pretty good D by Dugalich. There's the switch. Seven now. Marat stepping back. Oh, sweet stroke. That is a pretty fade by Marat. She had the big on her. Smart about it. Ten lead changes now. Wow, Oregon State by a deuce, but more free throws as it looks like Marat picks up her second. Well, Marat picks up her second, but did a terrific job of creating space whatsoever. And I think Coach Ruick just got a technical foul. Yeah, Ruick just got teed up. So, Benny Luna will chase everybody off the line. Tamia Gardner wants this overflow crowd to get up and get loud. And Luna's trying to get somebody from UCLA to shoot the free throws. She says it's got to be Zuntok. 
has to be her. Yeah, she's the one that got hammered. Zuntok. Her country, I should say, qualified for the upcoming Olympics at the qualifying tournament recently. Gets one of two. Osborne, 87% free throw shooter, leads this club in that respect. Respect. Having a really good, solid, dynamic first half. Well, five of five from the free throw line so far. Filling up the stat sheet on both ends of the floor last weekend. So now, with the three free throws, UCLA with the lead by one. Buck 39 left to go in the half. And they get the ball back. Yep. Could be a five or six point play for UCLA. Instead, it's a turnover. You know, in a one or two possession game, those, those things make a big difference. 130. Right here, left to go in the second quarter. Perova gets fouled. And she's come in today and given them good minutes. Four points, two of two from the field. It's the best game, best conference game since she had the six points against Stanford. The game before that, 16 against Cal, but pretty quiet since then. And she's been an unexpected treat for Ruick off the bench. Yeah, three rebounds to go along with it. 30 to 30. There's your answer. Jones just smart. Yep, had the space. Here's Parova. Dugalich again playing the good defense to cut off the baseline. There's got to be a foul inside. Yeah, her first free throws of the game in terms of attempts. Gets them both. What a weekend last weekend. Gardner going home to defeat Utah. And Beers going home to defeat Colorado. 32-32. Jones in the tall timbers. Not a five-second differential. Now 10 on that shot clock. Gardner squares up. Talia didn't know that that return pass was coming. Osborne directing traffic. Five. Osborne. You're going to have to put something up. Man. And a ton of those are students. You got to love it. Well, when the students are in the building, it just gives you a different feel. I mean, they got the hard hat on today and, and doing a great job of cheering, cheering on their Beavers. So third quarter underway here at Gill. Top 15 matchup. Number nine, UCLA. Number 11, Oregon State. Bruins by a deuce. Here's Betts going up against Reese and scoring. Remember, Kelsey in foul trouble. Well, Kelsey in foul trouble and just allowing her to get too deep in the paint. Too easy. Gardner hawked by Osborne. Hits the timeline safely, but some time taken off that shot clock. Talia cut off by Osborne. Inside look, Gardner squares. She'll draw the foul. Dougal each got her. Oregon State, always known as one of the better schools. Seating implications with Colorado's loss earlier tonight. You know, this crowd recognizes it, and they are loyal fans. And what Ruick has done in this building has just been tremendous, and you can see it paying off with the fan base. Turnover. Oregon State with a chance to tie or take the lead. Dugalich showing some really good defense. Beers, excuse me. You look at Gardner elevating over Osborne on the mismatch. Dugalich dumps it inside. Bets good hands. Whistle blows the play dead. Let's see who they got. Was it Reese or was it Von Olhoffen? All right. So now Von Olhoffen has three. Yeah, and you, you certainly, I thought they might have called that on Reese because she turned her back and just kind of walled up because she didn't want to pick up a foul. But Von Olhoffen getting a little bit handsy. She's got to be smart. Eight and a half to go in this third quarter. They need her in there to distribute and run the show. So they counted the basket. It's a three-point play. Talia swooping. Dugalich tips it to herself. And here comes Osborne. Well, that's all bets right there. Detouring that shot. Yeah. 
Skip pass. Hesitation. Right back to Dugalic. She was wide open and she scores. Osborne so smart. Passing up that three. Saw the mismatch. Off the pick. Backing it up. Von Olhoffen. Three. You bet. one thing that they have done a good job of is getting the mismatches and taking advantage of it. Responding right, right to the hole. Just to remind you, no Reagan Beers injured early, early in the first minute of the second quarter, took an elbow to the face, went to the locker room, and folks like Talia Von Ohoff and picking up the scoring slap. Well, she's in double figures. Two in a row by that mismatch where she's got Betts guarding her on the perimeter. Betts has got to respect the ability to get by her, but she drills a three. Betts going right at Reese and scores. Oh, Betts. Oh, what a difference you make, young lady. Extra pass. Blocked. Hawkes. Oregon State retains possession. And the line hits the three. Well, a great job of staying with the play and making an extra pass. So Oregon State keeps its composure. And Murat hits the three. Betts with the answer. Oregon State responding three of four from the three-point line. Scalding shooting in this third. Perova trying to step through. Can't get it done. Had the inside edge. Instead, we're going the other way. 420 yeah. left to go in the third. First shot attempt of the game. She was absolutely on fire against the Arizona schools last weekend. Was Gabriella Hawkes, the sophomore. Well, average is just under 11 points a game. And if you're UCLA, she's got to be another factor in this, the end of the game. Who trailed by a bunch, made a game of it, but lost. The shooting this game in the third quarter, scintillating. A rare miss for Oregon State. Jones, gutsy. She'll go to the line. UCLA has been pretty darn good from the charity stripe. UCLA averages 13 free throw attempts a game. And they're well over that. And we still have 3.51 left in the third. And here she is. Yeah, and she's been good off of the bench. Team's fifth, Parova, with her best game. She was really good against Cal and Stanford, but pretty quiet since then. And she has been really giving Oregon State a lift off the bench. And not only her scoring, her defense has been effective. And getting to the paint just like that, taking UCLA off of the bounce. Osborne hesitates. Now seven on the shot clock for Rice. you got to put it up. What an answer by Zuntok. Nobody saw that coming. No, huge shot right there with the shot clock winding down. Gives them a seven-point lead. Only Zuntok's fifth triple of the season. Talia, can she answer? You bet she can. Von Olhoffen. Reverse not there. Gardner doubles at it. Avoids the tie-up. And here comes Talia. Takes it right at Osborne. To her knees. And she absolutely makes that foul call. She's being really smart, too, because she's getting mismatches with the post player on the perimeter. Instead of going by them, because they've got to respect the drive, she's knocking down the three. Yeah, you were absolutely right, Ann. She sold that and made that happen. Oregon State back in the zone. Rice all by herself. Hunter doing a nice job, steps into contact, but the foul's going to go against UCLA. So Hawkes and UCLA hoping for a jump ball call. Instead, Gabriella whistled for that foul. UCLA, 3 of 13. Great job of rebounding out of the zone. That's where sometimes you struggle. This game, the last five averaging in double figures. Kind of quiet tonight, but still a good floor game. Gets one of two. 56-55. Rice dumps it. What a pass! And there's the finish for Betts, but it's all Rice making that happen. You're right, and the vision in transition. She gets herself caught in the air and makes the big pass down low. Rice playing the defense and going coast to coast for the huge assist. Betts now with 20 points. Just a breath differential. Game and shot clock. Parova looking 
for help. Instead, she's going to wheel. Nothing there. Gardner loves that spot. You did to beat the buzzer. What a stick for Gardner. Well, she ties this game, and that's Varova right there with a big pass and a big three. Gardner with 17 points, two off of tying her career high. Betts doing her thing with 20 points, two off of tying her career high. Oh, what a game this has been. Fourth quarter underway. Oregon State opens in their zone. I thought Osborne would pull the trigger instead. Jones leaves it. Here's Rice. Oh, circus shot, Kiki Rice. Are you kidding me? Well, you see the explosion step to the rim, the ability to finish in the air. Great athleticism. What a finish, though, by Rice. Perova. Rice now with eight points. Gives you 13 a game. Gardner. The footwork is there, and she'll draw the foul. Fourth quarter. Bench is so critical for both of these teams. There's the hole in the seam. Good ball movement on the perimeter. Skip pass Osborne. Triple. Back rim and off. Right back to her on the long rebound. Well, Oregon State got exactly what they wanted. A long three. Just didn't rebound out of it. 60 apiece. That's so smooth. Well, she leads the Pac-12 in the nation at 68% from the field. And you see why. Parova. Wow. Triple. Student section, a couple of grand of them wearing hard hats and vests. Oh, yeah. Schuler whistle for the travel. Zuntok returning to action for UCLA. A little confusion for the Bruins. This crowd is awfully loud, Jamo. Well, the hard hats are up and ready to go. I guess so. Slip pass inside, and Hawkes finds a seat. Ton of time left, 540 left to go in this fourth quarter. No Reagan beers for Oregon State going out the first minute of the second quarter with an elbow to the face. Perova looking for a chance to get Oregon State ever closer. She's got nine points. 80% well, right. free throw shooter. Right now, Oregon State has not scored in almost three minutes. One of two. It's a four-point cushion. Nothing feels safe. Not in a game like this. No. Dugalich going against Gardner and scoring. I'll tell you, the bigs from UCLA have been great. Well, I think if you're Oregon State, you have to get Gardner some touches. A rare two-point field. Yeah, I think that's only her second... Defensive bucket, third, third of the just season. Just third of the yeah. season. Everything else is from beyond, beyond the arc. Dugalich. She holds up three, and she is right. Dugalich. Every possession now critical for both teams. On both ends of the floor. Hunter can't find that baseline. Now Perova playing down the stretch. Perova, you bet. She has not showed any fear whatsoever, taking it right at the end. Osborne, not there. Parova, rebound. And this crowd is going to come unglued if Oregon State is able to cash in in the half court. Well, they got what they wanted at the defensive end. Now it's just a matter of execution here for the Beavers. Gardner. Extra pass, and now Hunter, three ball. You bet! Oh, Don Hunter! Great extra pass, great execution, inside out. Ball swing and a big three. UCLA's defense couldn't catch up. Parova making the critical pass to Donovan Hunter. She buries the triple. The lead is two. A buck 15 left to go. Osborne looking to answer. Rim it out! Again, the Beavers get... UCLA to shoot a three, five of 22 on the night. Von Olhoffen hesitates.
she'll go to the line. She wanted it and won. That won Pac-12 championships, and we're going to Elite Eights and that one Final Four. And Scott thinks that this team has that kind of vibe. And they've gotten themselves right back into a tight ball game with a minute three to go. Von Ohlhofen, perfect from the charity strike. One minute to go. 72 apiece. I got the chills. Crowd is up. Here we go. Betts and now Rice. Dugalich. Scoops it inside. Betts knocked away. Quick hands by Von Ohlhofen. Great defensive by Von Stealing that from the backside from Betts. We're telling you, she ain't a one-trick pony. Never was, but the fact that she has ascended defensively. Mm, okay, here we go. Ten on the shot clock. We're tied. There's the high pick. Gardner gets it right back. Almost loses it. And Close cannot believe the foul call from Betty Luna. Six for six from the charity stripe is Gardner tonight. She's got the 19 points. Make it 20, a new career high. Brand new career high when the Beavers have needed it most. This next one critical. She's been terrific, and they're on an 8-0 run over the last two minutes. Wow. or less yeah beavers rocking and rolling but we're far from over rice dumps it dougalich for the go ahead and it gets it oh my gosh dougalich with the three well great execution a nice pick and block dougalich okay jmo here we go. So Von Olhoffen couldn't find a good lane in terms of inbounding. Get this ball inbounds. Let's get this thing determined. It's a one-point lead for UCLA. Just a breath under seven seconds left in the fourth. Here's Talia. Driving all the way to the rim. for sure. You advance the ball if you're UCLA and you can get a really good look. We'll see if Betts gets something in a high percentage fashion. There she is, Betts. Betts for the win! Uh oh Lauren Betts with that basket sets a new career high and more importantly on a catch and shoot. A catch and shoot or draw a foul. Hands for trying to come off the pick, and Hunter didn't like the angle, so a quick timeout. Here we go. Now it's Hansford inbounding. Talia for the win. Oh! She's got it. She's got it. She's got it. Oh, my goodness. Talia von Olhofen at UCLA sinking to its knees. What a stick for the veteran. official and it is well Oregon 
State four of their last four in all huge positions and big time plays to get this win. The vibe is back, I guess so. The hottest team in the Pac-12 stays hot and this is a club that has made another statement, Jennifer Mountain, 15 and 0 at home, six in a row. They are red hot and rolling, and that's because of the type of kids they have and what they're doing as a staff. Oh, baby, to leave on Olaf and wins it at the buzzer. The final 79-77 massive win for the Beavers. They are now in second place all by their lonesome, undefeated at home. Oh, baby, what a win for Oregon State. Woo-wee! For Jennifer Mountain, our entire broadcast crew, I'm Ed Schott saying so long from Corvallis. Man, we love having you with us, and we love this kind of finish. Talia.